doctors and nurses and public health officials that know how to manage a terrible crisis like this. Uh, again, there are no cases in Ohio yet and likely won't be. You never know for sure, but some people are in isolation that, that had up close relatives of the nurses, uh, of the nurse, and um, that's the right way to handle this. But I don't think people, I think people should move forward with their lives, live their lives, not be worried about this, not be alarmed about this. Senator, let me ask you two questions about politics, one about current elections and one about maybe a future election. Um, some folks are saying you're the top alpha male Democrat in the state now. Uh, if pundits and to other kind of Democrats, <laughs> to a non-alpha male. Democrat? Well, you're 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 the you're the head Democrat in the state of Ohio because of, of your positions. Uh, if pollsters and pundits are correct, this is not going to be a banner year for Democrats this year, at least in Ohio. On November 5th, what's the conversation that we have with the Ohio uh, Democratic I'm Party? Going to project that we're going to lose everything because I don't think we are. I I look at these downstate candidates, Pepper and Turner and. Uh, Pillage and Carney, they are the best group of four down ticket candidates I've seen in 40 years in this state, better than when I was on the ticket, frankly, and no false humility. They're just fact in my mind. Um, I think that I think there's real potential in all four of them, so I'm not willing to say this election is a disaster. I think it's a hard election for us because of our governor candidate, but I also know that, that people are not happy with the direction of this state. We've not had the job growth some places have had. Um, we've had um, huge budget cuts to communities so that highways are worse, roads are worse, public services are worse, police and fire uh, we don't fund well enough, uh, public health we don't fund well enough. A lot of that is because of a far right state legislature that's clearly out of touch with the public. If, if, if these Democratic candidates don't pan well, I, out... I'm not going to answer a question if based on that. Okay, I'll call all right. me after the election if that happens, but I'm calling you if it doesn't happen. Okay, all right, all right. Here's a, n n next question. 2016, Ohio's going to be even more important. Republicans are coming to Cleveland, uh, Columbus. 50% chance Democrats come. Columbus still may be uh, the home for Democrats. Uh, we have two favorite sons, John Kasich and Rob Portman, that are commonly talked about on uh, the list of folks for either president or vice president. You're a senator from Ohio. Whoever that Democratic presidential nominee would be, do you think you'd be a right person for their I'm vice presidential choice? Not, unlike many others, I'm not interested, period. I'm not interested in running for president. If asked, you would not serve. I'm not in running for president. I'm not interested in being the vice presidential running mate. Every candidate for president on the Democratic side knows I'm not interested in it, so that case is closed. Okay. You, you just said there's a 50 percent chance that Columbus could be the choice. It, do you know something? I mean, there's more than two cities say, left, right? I know, but there are cities that don't have a very good case. <laughs> Birmingham, Phoenix, Brooklyn all have significant problems. I think it's Columbus or Philadelphia. I've been working hand in glove with the National Democratic Party. No predictions. I can't promise that we're one of the two finalists, but I think that we have a very good chance. We have something the others don't have, and that's a great state university with a stadium that can seat 100,000 easily, counting on the field. We have um, this state university in Ohio can do so much more transportation, housing for delegates. Uh, we have enough housing. It's act accessible in enough hotel space, even without Ohio State, when you bring in more there. Um, I think it's a great opportunity for the Democratic National Committee. I think that many Democrats see Columbus as, because we're either two weeks right before the Olympics or five weeks right after the Olympics, after the Republican convention, I think any gain the Republicans get out of Cleveland will be blunted and more by coming to Columbus and all the other reasons. And I think the biggest reason, though, Columbus really wants it. Brooklyn, eh, Philadelphia, they kind of want it, but Columbus really wants it because this will be the first time in American history when a convention, when both parties come to different cities in the same state. A couple times they've come to Philadelphia or Chicago or Miami, but never two cities in the same state. We make history. It would really, it would be a great thing for the state. And, and the business community in Columbus, mostly Republican, of course, but the business community in Columbus uh, is full in on this. I mean, they are absolutely in. They've been terrific.
terrific on this uh, to do what needs to be done to get them here. Is it time for a change in leadership of the Ohio Democratic Party? We'll see. I'm not going to answer. Daryl, one more and then we got to go. Well, I think I lean against the wall. Does he work here? <laughs> nice, nice tie, Heath. How come the print guy has a tie on, the TV guy doesn't? Just a question. Daryl, did you get the memo? Would you have gotten on that Frontier plane in Cleveland yesterday? I've gotten on Yes, yesterday when they, um, I would have gotten on the plane, but I, I don't think people on the plane were attracted because it's you have to have bodily exchange. I mean, you, I don't think people want to necessarily sit next to a person that might be infected, but I also think there's not, there should be alarm. The chances of transmission are so low for anybody on that plane. Uh, but would you have gotten on the plane? I don't know. I kind of, uh, you know, it was scheduled to take off. I understand it. You know, Pioneer, Frontier, Biden, some of I don't know. I guess I don't, I don't know. Okay, we got it.